And for me, I think I mentioned this to my husband. There are two reasons why I decided to become a client of yours. The first one was I enjoyed you as a person. So for me, of course, the business and the results are great, but there are a lot of competitors that are doing the same work. And I am picking my people, people that I think will be a match to my personality. So these are the people that I will not engage with. Yep. And the second thing is that you actually offered me some advice for free. And then I was telling him, you know, this guy seems like he would be having my interest at heart as a customer. And this is the moment when I knew that I want to do business with you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and thank you for the kind words. Appreciate that. I think it's, everybody's got to find their own balance of where they've given free time freely given free advice and tried to help someone and when that becomes a business conversation because you're right you don't want to you don't want to have people free riding on your success and your capabilities but then i also think to a certain extent if you've got the free time to do it you should absolutely be doing as much as you can for free because the thing that people buy they pay for your services is you not your frameworks and strategies and experience and things they can't buy you so they can take it like I'm a big fan of giving it all away. Like I, I give everything away yeah. because the sorts of people that I talk to and, and I'd imagine the same for you, the people that can do it themselves will take a little bit of advice, run with it and fix their problems. And they're very capable people. Um, other people take mm-hmm. a one look at what you've suggested and go, no, I'm not doing that. Um, and they either disappear because they don't have budget or they can't make a business case, can't tell the story for their team to get a budget. Or they come to you as a client because actually, why am I trying to do this myself when I can just pay Irina to fix the problem? Um, and you know, for me, it's either it's the business case has got to stack up. It's either worth it or it's not. On that note, you know, we are currently in discussion for my own podcast, and I mentioned to you in our conversation that. Probably I will be ed- able to edit my own episodes. It will require me probably 10 times the, the time. It will be less of a quality, but I don't want to do that myself. I will now work with someone that I trust that, as I mentioned, will have my interest. So if it can be beneficial for both of us, if it will save me time, if it's going to increase my quality, why not do it? 